All right, this is going to be a little uh, collector POV commentary. We're doing speed runs, but uh, I'll try to talk about things that I'm doing as much as possible. Wave one, you usually don't want to block the first runner. Um, you can block the second runner. If your team's good, you can also just AFK. Alright, we're doing all the early waves. So red, pretty simple. Grab two reds on wave two. And uh, load and shoot from the west cannon at 30 seconds. Usually you want to stand northeast for reds from the death. Um, it's more likely to spawn there. Looks like we got a situation here. Should still be good? Yeah, still good. Only shot a tick late. You can shoot up to um, one tick late, I believe. Okay, reds again, nice and easy. Wave three, you grab four reds. You don't have to block on red waves. You only have to block on all the other ones. Um, if the thing is up against a wall like this, stand in the middle. Because obviously it can't spawn northeast, it spawns in the middle instead. If you want, you can do a little dance. But I'm not that early, so I'm not going to. <clears throat> you don't call on wave 3 reds, the uh, attackers just have to guess and figure it out. Wave 4, I like to wait a tick or two at the start, because if you get there early you can accidentally lure. So I'll usually just pause for a tick at the beginning before I run up and uh, block the west runner. As soon as you see it's not west, path to uh, the square under the spikes. So it's in line with the uh, sheer main stack, and then the defender can kind of leave it there. After that, you want to usually just kind of follow the healer around for the uh, 18 spawn. And then you click to leave. You can leave a tick before 3 seconds, um, and make sure you call right away when you get here. Or you can click at 3 seconds to be safe if you're unsure. Um, usually you can call like 42 in the chat, but we kind of just assume 42, unless uh, something goes wrong, then we call 45. So wave 5, uh, we're doing cape, so uh, the collector basically just stands here the whole time, doesn't really do much. You tr try to watch if you know the, if you know the uh, healer code that he's using, so he's late. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of giving call outs to the attackers since they're way the way over there, and uh, they don't know what's going on. Um, so I'll say prop 51 and tell them to come over here so the main can look. So the only thing about Cape 9 is you have to call at around 39 seconds. So uh, that's the only thing you can't completely AFK. You, can, you have to make sure you call. And yeah, this is 51, so he saved it. <clears throat> Alright, now we go west. Gonna get eggs. Wave 6. If the healer's good and has a decent spread, you don't really need eggs, but it's nice to have in case um, something happens with the runners or anything weird like that. So I'll usually collect until like 24 seconds or so. Just make sure you stay west unless you're doing like some advanced strat. you call. If you want you can step over before you convert but I usually just click convert. All right I'll sometimes I'll try to grab a quick um, lure. Looks like he doesn't have an RP so I'll actually bring this away and hope to get a couple eggs on the uh... okay well that one's being a troll but if you can get an extra egg on the 48 it's usually nice it helps to secure a uh, 60 second end. Alright, wave 7 we're doing collector lure, which just kind of helps um, the healer restock faster. So you just grab the 6 second and stand on the trap, then you'll click over here once you see him poison it. 
and then once you get to pass uh, just north of the bottom of the cannon ramp you can click like northwest and path up here if uh if the healer accidentally blocks the um the penance healer then you you have to wait until the 18 second spawns you just stay hidden um but you know he was on time so it was okay um, usually you go east of the cannon, there's no reason to be west on wave 7 really. So uh, you can just get to the convert a couple ticks faster. And I'll say shoot 1 because I only got 4 eggs, so that means um, defender can shoot 1, I'll shoot 2 before the X. But he's uh, holding it there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, a little late cape. Oh no, he's caping now, okay. You can't see the animation because uh, I got there, I don't know what happened, something weird with the render, but you could see the... The, the pie. <laughs> Oddly enough. Right, he's gonna have to force that. Oh wow, nice. Alright, um... So red eggs on wave 8 <clears throat> means if your healer wants it, you can lure the 36 um, healer spawn, so I'll kind of show you what I do for that. So right around 24 seconds, I'll come south of here. This is like the LH LHC method for luring. Um, and I'll wait until 30 and then I'll call. And then you want a path like somewhere up here so you're a little bit north just in time to grab the 36. Okay, and it didn't get on me. So I'll, uh, I'll load quick and then I'll go for relures. You can also like just kind of launch cannons, but I, okay, those, I don't need that one. That one I do need. So one's on me. So it kind of worked out pretty well. They both, um, the two RPs that he needed got east of the cannon. One tip for reluring is usually just run back once, like the tick after you see um, the healer heal the runner, because he's gonna probably go, like, you know, he has like a 50% chance of going on you. So we're doing blue nine. Uh, but yeah, if you wait too long to see if the relure is on you, you're probably gonna put it in a bad spot. So you, it's best to just run to the cannon um, early, and if you have to go back to relure, it's not a big deal. So uh, I'm going to lure the six second healer, usually um, advanced healers prefer that. And let me just make sure you wait for him to block at uh, 24, call, and then I, I wait for the 36 to spawn, and then it's the neck poison tick, and so that's good. And I'm gonna grab a red. I didn't get the tw the 24, so uh, nothing really noteworthy here. You just want to relure, and that's a really good relure. So um, you're not gonna see an animation because he's doing the bank pin interface. So I'm just gonna start shooting at 60, and hopefully you get some splash. I'm I'm just gonna leave the healer here and get some splash. But you'll also get a couple shots after the cape um, after the RP dies. Right now, I should have waited a tick, but I didn't, so I'm bad. And uh, just don't make sure, depending on what the um, the main is using, don't shoot too close to the end of the extension spawn, uh, extension end, because then you're gonna break the force. Um, on 10, I like to stand just north of this crater. It prevents the rangers from go getting in this stupid area over here. That's like aids to click on, because this the lava um, messes up the click box is like huge all right so some pretty slow eggs but we don't need that many um, and wave 10 it's okay right after 24 you can really go uh, east into the lower range it's not a big deal um, so he's looking good he'll he'll call out it's probably gonna be like 71 ish I think he's yeah uh, it's going to be close. I would say 71 for him. Alright, once you get there, you can start shooting right away. Um, that's going to be on the RP, unfortunately. Kind of just how it is. So usually you wait. Um, you don't want to shoot too close. You want to wait for the, the 54 to get into range, and you want more most of the eggs to get on the 54. That gives him the best chance of a good, uh, a good wave end time. And so he said 72, so I'm going to shoot until 
you know, around 70 is, is uh, safe. I think that's probably PB. That felt, except for the 51.5. I'm trying to think what else. Seven was a little slow, but it should be alright, so. Shitty egg spawn. Make sure you lure the, the Penance Queen. You stand here until uh, about when the Defender gets the egg. And then you run up. And if you want, you can try to shoot. Usually you can get a tick out of it. It's usually not necessary, but... Alright, well that's uh, that's the commentary, so uh, I'll try to do some more of these in the future, but uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.